not doing the recap last week. I actually did it for the premiere, but my computer and YouTube hate me. And this week, my doing this recap camera hates me. Cam, um, and it's horrible quality, so I apologize. Um, right now, I'm just kind of like rewatching Vampire Diaries for the fifth time. Not the fifth, I keep putting it to my whole hand there. Okay, so anyways, gonna jump right into it. Um, first starts off with Elena going to see Damon. He's basically taking down all the stuff from like tracking Klaus and Stefan. And Elena is basically, you know, like, oh, I'm sorry about Andy Starr and blah, blah, blah. Why didn't you tell me? And Damon was like, well, really, I was gonna tell you on your birthday that your boyfriend killed my fake girlfriend. So it's like... Yeah, Elena. Damn, um, Stefan's pretty freaking bad. Um, so then Elena's just like, oh, well, Stefan called me. And, um, and I, I don't want to give up like, on Stefan's him. gone. He's like, he's not coming back. He's, like, so far gone, like, out of his mind that he's not going to be the same Stefan. And she's like, well, if he wasn't the same Stefan, he would have called me. And then she goes to Rick's house. And we see this, like, really bummy-looking Rick. And uh, she's like, tell me everything you know about Stefan and Klaus in Tennessee. And he's like, well, didn't I tell you know? Didn't I tell you that I didn't want to be a part of this anymore? And she's like, you know what? Um, I'm not gonna give up on Stefan, and you're gonna help me. And it's so funny because she's like in his house, and he has like all these beer bottles and stuff around. So you could tell he's like taking Jenna's death like really hard, and she's like picking up everything and like cleaning everything up. It's like really funny. It's like, oh, okay, Lana, do you just go to people's houses and start picking up? Rick is like, okay, I'll finally tell you what uh, Stefan and Klaus were doing. They were in Tennessee looking for werewolves. And I think that like a little ticker in Elena's head goes off and is like, oh shit, he's trying to make hybrids. So then you go to Stefan and Klaus in Tennessee and freaking Stefan's holding uh, Ray on his shoulders, and I'm like, freaking David Gallagher, you have no idea how lucky you are that you got to be carried by Paul Wesley. Like, I freaking hate you. <laughs> I know, I know, he probably didn't feel the same way, you know, that I would feel if he was picking me up, but just saying. So anyways, they get to this, like, rocky mountain whatever in Tennessee, and, um, it's like the whole pack is there, and they're like, oh, um, who the hell are you looking at? Stefan and then Klaus is like the important question is who am I please forgive the intrusion my name is Klaus and then she's all like oh you're the hybrid and he's like oh so you've heard of me perfect or fantastic or whatever I'm just like holy shit I'm like it's about to get real he's gonna create his hybrid army and I'm just like one of the weird people that wants to see the hybrid army be made sue me I just want to see a bunch of half werewolves half Bams, running around. So then, anyways, we go back to Mystic Falls, and um, you see Mrs. Lockwood, and she's over here like drinking booze all early in the morning, and then like she has coffee, and she like sees this vervain like dart or whatever, and like puts it into the coffee, and uh, she gives the coffee to Tyler, and she's like staring at him, like you know checking to see. Mrs. Lockwood, like, confronts him, and she's like, you know what? If you're gonna bring a girl home, she could at least have the decency not to leave, like, a prostitute. And he's like, uh, what the hell? She left? You know, she snuck out, and then he's like, Caroline's not a prostitute, and he says that before he leaves. And, um, about the coffee thing, he's like, oh, the green must be bad. It's like, no, it's the vervain. I guess werewolves can taste vervain. It just doesn't affect them. And she's like, oh, like, thank God. Like, my Tyler is not a vampire. And I'm like, no, he's not a vampire. He's something else, lady. And you're probably not going to like it either. Um, You think you know everything? So then she ends she up, don't. like, calling this Bill guy, talking about the vampire situation that she got herself into. His name just, like, got like thrown Bill. into here. So anyways, you go to the Mystic Grill. And we see Matt shirt freaking hot, even though I'm not a Matt fan. Um, and I'm just like, why can't we see Jeremy shirtless? <laughs> please make Jeremy shirtless for one episode at least, please. Like, getting dressed like, like Matt was, you know. Um, Jeremy comes and he's like, you know what, remember what we talked about last night? And Matt's like, last night was such a blur. 
And Jeremy's like, well, I've seen Vicky, and I think you need to help me, because she said help me. And they said that um, in order to contact the dead, it really helped, you know, using somebody that they were really close Vicky to. Vicky loved so you the most. You're going to help me. You're the only person that can help me. I'm going to need your help. Matt's just like, okay, you know, I'll help you. And I feel kind of bad for Matt because, you know, he's all and alone. And you see Tyler and Elena talking. I'm like, oh my god, Tyler and Elena scene, finally! We get a Tyler and Elena scene. Um, how long did it take Elena's for that Elena's asking him about, you know, where werewolves hang out. And Tyler's like, well, a lot, most of us like to, you know, lock up and put chains and stuff on. And, um, he's like, but there's a group of us that actually like to, to roam free. And he's like, in, like, woods, mountains, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So Elena's like, well, is there any place like that in Tennessee? And he's like, yeah, let me show you. I thought they were going to have, like, a Binget moment because, you know, like, Bing is, like, their sponsor or whatever. He's going to be like, oh, let me pull up the map for you. And then they're going to show the Bing. Like, oh, I thought that's um, what they were going to do. I thought the least I could do is help you because, you know, Caroline reminds me every single day that Stefan is in this situation because I bit Damon. I'm like, Caroline, stop being a bitch for Elena goes that. and talks to Rick and is like, oh, well, I found the place. And Rick's like, oh, God. And she's like, okay, fine, then I'll go by myself. And he's like, oh. He's like, fine, you're driving, I'll go you. With go you. back to Tennessee, and then you see Talking Wells to wolves and about the hybrids. And, um, you know, Ray wakes up at that time from transition, and they freaking take this girl's boyfriend and is like, you know, he needs to feed off of him. And she's like, so he freaking gives out. her some of his blood. And she's like, I'd rather die than be a vampire. And then he like kills her. And he's like, oh, she's, you know, he's like, holy shit, shit for that hybrid arm stars. Ooh, ooh. And I'm like, all happy. And yeah. So then, uh, Stefan's all being ripperish, like, you know, telling Ray, you need to feed or I'm going to do it. And once I start, I can't stop. So basically, go I'm back to kill the real. This guy. Tyler and Matt have a moment. Matt's like, are you planning on living here? Because, you know, you've been here forever. And then Tyler's like, well, I thought I was meeting Caroline. And he's like, have you seen her? And he's like, no, you know, I don't keep a track of her. And it's like, really, Matt? He looks concerned. And then uh, Tyler's just like, you know what? I never thought that this was going to be a big deal, that me and her were going to be friends. And, you know, I didn't think things were going to be wrong between us. And then Matt comes back and is like, you know what? Tonight's the full moon. And she usually helps you with that. Do you need help? Because you know, Tyler's like, well, like you know, I, I can do it on my own. But, uh, thanks anyways. He's, like, kind of freaked out. And I was just like, really, Matt? You're, like, offering? Like, how nice of you. Like, you're actually being really nice to Tyler. Near and Tyler, me. like, takes a sip of his coffee. And he's like, what the hell is up with my J's buds today? And then Matt's like, oh, it's for Vane. Oh, uh, they make us slip it in the coffee. And it's like, oh, the coffee usually hides the flavor. And then Tyler's like, really? And then he's like, oh, well, Matt's ghost. And yeah, it covers it up for humans. And Tyler's just like, oh, shit. And then you go back to the Lockwood house. And this Bill guy comes. You're like, who the hell is this Bill guy? Where the hell has he been? And he came from, like, out of the deep blue sky. Because they're like, oh, um, did anybody see you? And he's like, well, no, I came straight here. I didn't drive through town. And it's like. Okay, and then apparently he knows who Caroline is because she's like, oh, it's Caroline Bill. I've known her since she was born. Okay, so Bill knows Caroline. Who the hell are you, Bill? You know, and she's like, I don't want to kill Caroline. And he's like, well, you know what? She's a vampire. We already know what we have to do. Dude, like, who are you? Why do you want to kill Caroline? Go back to the okay. mountains and see Elena and Rick. And they're having their moment. Love you when know. she's like going to give Elena's going to give Rick the ring, and he's like, "No, that was John Gilbert's. He gave it to you." And she's like, "Well, I'm a doppelganger. It's not gonna work. And I'd hate to see you get killed before happy hour. You can give it back to me afterwards." He's like, "Well, save the ring for like future baby Gilberts." And I'm like, "Oh my God, I love baby Gilberts. I want a baby Gilbert." Kermit. So it's like Rick, I start cracking up because then Damon comes, and she's like, "How'd you know we we're here?" And he's like. Thanks for the tip, brother. And then Alaric's like, you think I'd take you to a mountain range full of werewolves without backup? Are you crazy? Because she's like, oh, you sold me out. Like, bitch, shut up. Stop being stubborn. Stop being You're so stubborn. freaking stubborn, Alina. Can I throw you into the water? You go back and then, you know, poor, Klaus poor and human Stephen, guy. Like, are making him be like the blood hybrid. He's just like on the floor. 
like looking like he's dying. You're like, oh, poor guy, poor blood guy. And then all of a sudden, Ray is all like, you know, I and thought I was I gonna feel, feel better. better. And you, he like has these blood deers, and Klaus is like freaking out. You can tell he's like really worried about what's going on. Like things aren't going his way. And Stefan's all like, well, why are you building this army? Like, what is the point of this? And then you'll find like, out later. And Stefan's just trying to be like uh, rebellious against Klaus with what he's saying. Just like, whatever. And anyway, so then Ray is, like, not making the transition well at all. And then you go back to Elena and Damon and Lark, and, like, she's in the water, and she's like, I'm not getting out of here unless we go and save Stefan. And then Damon's like, you know what? Seriously, you're gonna, like, and you're gonna be, like, a feast for these wolves. And she's like, I'm not going to know you're alive, bitch. Like, that's the only thing that's keeping you safe. And then she's just, like, begging him. And then Damon's like, fucking fine. Like, let's go. He can't, like, say no to Elena. She got on my nerves. Let's just go. With her freaking stubbornness. Like, what do you accomplish? You're always putting yourself into trouble, Elena. What do you accomplish? Honestly. Everything ends with, like, trouble for you. Like, you, you, who do you save? So then anyways, all the hybrids, like, start coming out. And Ray is, like, all badass, like, you know, he just jumps and escapes, and he's just, like, super duper badass, jumping and all high and running like a wolf, but he's still oh, in, like, shit. Is that form? what the hybrids are gonna look like? Maybe. So then Klaus is just like, go get him, Stefan, go get him. And then Stefan goes after him, and Ray bites Stefan, and you're like, oh shit, werewolf fight. And Stefan as he's going, you know, after Ray, and Damon and Omar are talking. And you can tell he's just, and then he goes and he looks at them. You can tell he's just like sad. Like he wants to go, he wants to stay watching them. But then Klaus comes and interrupts him. And he's like, okay, yeah, go away, let's go. Um, Ray got away. And then Klaus is like, oh, fatal werewolf fight. Ouch. And he's like, oh, yeah, about that, Klaus. I'm gonna need you to heal me. Klaus is like, really? Like, you go get Ray. And I'll heal you, so you better go hurry up, because, you know, that bite looks pretty bad. And I'm like, whoa, Klaus, dick move. But then again, it's like Stefan. Klaus starts just looking at all the hybrids, and he's like, oh, you know, all smiling like cheesy, like a little kid on Christmas. Like, this is awesome, you know, this is my army here. But then you see the girl, and she has, like, all this blood tears coming down, and you're like, holy shit. And, like, you Something go to the scene, right. like, Tyler and Mrs. Lockway, he finally confronts her, and he's like, you put Ravain in my coffee. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. Ravain. He's like, um, let's pretend, let's, you know, quit pretending that we don't know about the vampires in this town. She's like, you know, you've been spending so much you time know, with Caroline. He's like, Caroline. She's like, well, let's stop pretending that we don't know what she is. And then he's like, what did you do to her? What did you do to her? I can't let you and get Tyler's together. She's a like, mom. What? He's like, you don't know what the hell I am. She's like, what, what are you, you talking about? What do you mean, no, what? I know who you are. You're... You're my son, you're Tyler Lockwood. I'm gonna have to show this bitch or tell her. And I'm just like, yes, we're finally going to see this epic scene of where he's finally revealing himself to his mom because she needs to take her head out of her ass because she needs to be severely beaten for locking up Caroline. At this point, we were like, where the hell is Caroline? Ray. And they realize that he's a hybrid and, you know, they hit him with their vein darts and then Elena throws Damon the, the wolf's vein bomb. Ray falls to the floor, and they're like, holy shit, that's a hybrid. He's a hybrid. Like, Klaus has already started making his arm. Go back to the Donovan house, and Matt and Jeremy are looking through Vicky's stuff. And Jeremy's like, you know, having some of It'll her personal items. And Matt's kind of, like, getting emotional, and Jeremy's kind of, like, you know, looking then at Then Matt it and takes out this picture of, like, him and Vicky when they were younger. You can clearly tell that's Kayla. Like, I but anyways, Kayla Matt's right like, away. you know what? I don't know why I'm doing this. And Jeremy's like, you know what? You have a chance to help her. And Matt's like, you know what? I can't do this. I really can't do so this. Jeremy leaves. To leave. And Jeremy Matt had put the picture down. He turns around and the picture's face up again. And he's like, what the hell is that? What the hell is going on? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Vic is haunting Matt. But then I'm like, where the hell is Anna? Like, really? Where is Anna? He, I'm go back to the mountains. Elena's putting Vervain on this, uh, this rope, gives it to Rick because they're tying up the, you know, um, right to the tree. 
Damon goes and grabs it. He's like, ah. She's like, I said Rick. And I started crying. So anyways, they try to get Ray to talk before the full moon. But he starts turning, like, way before the full moon. And she's like, he can't turn. It's still daylight. It's still daylight. He can't turn. How is this possible? But we're just like, oh, well, you know what? You have to tell him that. Obviously, he's turning. They start running away. So Klaus, like, starts noticing that something's going wrong with the hybrids. And then you see... Elena, Alaric, and Damon running through the woods. Of course, Elena has to fall on the ground like a dumbass. Like, really? You can't stay on your feet. And then, uh, Damon's like, you know what? Stay still. Elena looks up, and there's a wolf right in her face. And I'm like, wait a minute. Who's this wolf person? Because none of these hybrids are turning into wolves at this point. Who is this werewolf? Did anybody else think that? Like, who's this werewolf running through the woods that Klaus didn't get a hold of? Damon goes and makes him run after him. And Alaric's like, Elena, we need to go now. Elena's like, we need to go now, Elena. Damon can take care of himself. So he goes and runs off with her. Go back to Mystic Falls. Tyler takes his mom into the cellar. And he's like, you want to see a monster? You think Caroline's a monster? I'm a monster, mom. I'm about to show you what's going down. So then he's like, get your ass into the cellar. She's like, what are you doing? No, I'm not going to get into the cellar. What's on? I'm like, bitch, get into the cellar. Or else you're going to be Lady, dumb. she's like, oh, what the hell is going on? And he's like, you know what? It's a curse. Uncle Mason had it. It's a family curse. What curse are you talking about? He chains himself up and he's in pain. And she's just like, well, what's going on with my son? Then she sees him start changing. And she's like, oh my God. Oh my God. And she's like all the way at the back of the cell, like freaking out. It's like, I bet you're glad you're in that you cell. You should now, find Holly. out the whole story before you start hitting people with vervain darts. Find out what your kid is just saying. How would you like it if somebody Threw came wolves in? wolves vervain darts at your son go back to the mountains damon starts fighting with ray and uh ray like it looks like he's about to bite damon and damon's he's already thinking like, not again you know there's gonna be no way that i'm gonna survive this and then stefan comes and like rips out ray's heart and damon's like, here and then what Stephen's the hell? Like, um you know what what are you doing here i told you not to follow and him. damon's <laughs> damon tells him you know what it, it's your girlfriend can't stop her from looking for you and if you don't want her to look for you you need to stop calling her he's like oh i didn't like, call yeah, her he did that annoyed me a lot of people were like oh um stefan didn't call elena who called her then stefan's you just know, saying that. Call her. i don't know who called her please stefan we all know damon's like pretty elena. shocked that i guess damon i mean that uh stefan saved him and you're just like oh well it's a bromance moment, and I kind of loved it because you still see stuff in humanity. Um, and since you didn't get to see my recap last I'm week, really I'm kind of like not for Stefan. Like I love nice Stefan. Like I'm Team Damon, Ripper but Stephen I love both doesn't of them. turn me on like he does most people. I like my sweet, sensitive Stefan. Oh, and for Ray, like I thought he I mean, was gonna laugh about like, David Gallagher being on the Vampire Diaries, and then you they go and have this quick. Elena Lark moment that I kind of love and. You know, he's like, I'm a lost cause. And she's like, you know what? You're not a lost cause, Alaric. You're alone. Jeremy and I are alone. You know, we're all kind of perfect for each other. We need to be there for each other. And he tells her, you know what? I'm you know, keeping Damon, the ring then, Damon come and runs out the car. Are you okay? Okay, Damon's like, get your ass back into the car. Shut the hell up, Alina. I want to wring you by the neck. She gets into the car. Like, finally, she looks out the window. He's like staring at her. Guess you kinda, Go back like, to the Gilbert system. house and you see like Matt coming. He's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy. Here's a case oh. of beer. let's make up." Then Jeremy's like, "Yeah, you got beer. Uh, all's forgiven, dude." Matt's like, "You know what? I'm gonna help you. Here's some of Vicky's stuff." And I just miss her so much, and you feel kind of bad for Matt, you know? Because then they start talking Vicky's about death, and Jeremy's like, "You know what? I don't remember it. They took away that memory away from me, so I don't remember." that last moment that Matt's i had like, with you vicky know what? no i don't remember the last moment i had with her either you know because you know before she was a vampire and i'm like she was still vicky after she was a vampire. then jeremy like feels this presence behind him and he sees vicky and she's like maddie and i'm like poor matt he like sees like how jeremy turns around and you're like oh poor matt that's the only person i feel bad for because i do not feel bad for vicky at all she tells jeremy I can jeremy turns back. around to look at matt because matt's like what did she say and then all of a sudden the freaking window is just like break who did like, that oh, and shit. then all of a sudden anna's like jeremy and i'm like yes anna anna finally talked anna finally talked and i'm like so excited and jeremy's like staring at her and he looks like happy but kind of shocked at the same time and anna looks like kind of scared and worried and she's like don't 
trust Vicky. I'm like, oh my god, I freaking called that. I called that. I called that. And everybody, like, texted me after that, too. They're like, how did you know that Anna was going to warn Jeremy about Vicky? I'm like, oh, you um, know, that's my favorite Jeremy's character. Jeremy's just like, holy shit, like, why can't I trust Vicky? Like, he has that look on his face. Like, but, Jeremy, you need to tell that. somebody that you're seeing Anna, too. It's I'm wondering if Anna bitch, broke Vicky. the windows. Like, bitch, you need to get the hell out of here, you know, with your, I can come back. And I'm like, Vicky, you can stay dead. Please bring back Anna. I have a feeling that they're going to bring them both back. Especially what We're Kayla Ewell said. Ghosts for long. I'm like, holy shit. But if they do come back, like, I really hope that they keep Anna on. Go back to the mountain. Like and, um, Klaus is, like, having a fit. He's like, I did everything. I killed the vampire. I killed the werewolf. I killed the doppelganger. You know what? You know, this all should have like, Oh, shit, you know? And then Klaus looks at him and... After he talks about the doppelganger. And I guess Stefan's like, oh shit, like he knows Elena's alive. And it's like, you look like hell. And Stefan's like, well, you know, uh, I, I kind of have a werewolf fight here. Who wouldn't look like you hell? You know, I, you don't want to heal me. I failed you because Ray is Call dead. He's like, you know what? I feel so defeated. Bites himself in the wrist. Pour some blood into a bottle. Like bottoms up. You're the only comrade I have. I kind of felt sorry for Klaus oh, for a he minute. Did his army. Then I'm like, I cannot feel sorry Joseph for Morgan Klaus. Is so hot. <laughs> his accent is so sexy. So you know, Damon's like, I just want to tell you that I was wrong. I'm I not drunk. Stefan. And she's like, and Oh my god, you yes, he's in. <laughs> what did he say? Something about being a martyr and he needs to get his ass kicked. And I was he's cracking like, up. I changed my mind because even in my brother's darkest place. He still saved my life. And I'm like, oh, because, you know, Damon really does care about his brother. I don't care what anybody says. He does care about Stefan. End of story. And then, they care uh, about each other. Elena's like, well, but that's pretty good, you know. What made you change your mind about, uh, leaving the mountain? You were so, uh, so adamant uh, about being there. We were being attacked. It was dangerous in the first place, Elena. Everything was dangerous. We could have got it. You already knew that, that we were going to get attacked. I was worried about you. He's like, you know, that's all I needed to hear. Why did you need to hear that? You know, and he's like, she's like, I always worry about you. Why do I need you to know, tell you that? When I drag my brother from darkness or whatever, I want you to remember what you felt while he was gone. Basically saying, you know what? I'm not going to fight for you right now. Wins when my brother comes back because it's not a fair thing right now. And I'm like, Damon, why didn't you kiss her? Why didn't you kiss her? Sorry, I'm a Delena fan, but I'm not a Rick comes one. up the stairs with his bag and it's on my Rick is staying in the Gilbert house again. So the Lockwood daddy. cellar. Tyler wakes up naked and I'm like, yeah, that's not awkward at all being naked in front of your mom. Not awkward at all being naked in front of your mom at that age, right, Tyler? And she's like sitting there like oh, so oh, decayed. Caroline, I'll make sure that, she, you know, she doesn't get hurt. I'll save her. I'll save her, Tyler. I guess she kind of thinks, you know what, if my son was in this situation, I would be trying to save his ass too. I and then she calls that, him Bill. Uh, we made a mistake. It's Caroline. I don't want to do it. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you know what? She's a vampire. You don't know anything about vampires. You married into this. You weren't born into this like I was. So I'm going to deal with this. Finally, we see our first flash of Caroline. And she's like waking up. And I'm like, poor Caroline's like tied to a chair in some kind of dungeon. You're like, oh my gosh. She's like, is that, is that you? And you're like, no, it's going to be this fucker Bill. And then he comes in. And you're like, oh my god. And the way she looks at him, she's like, Daddy? Who saw that coming? I didn't see that coming that that was going to be her dad. I was like, holy shit, you're going to kill your kid? You're going to torture your kid? Like, dude, you need Freaking to get your ass whipped. The show ends there. I was there for like 10 minutes with my mouth open. Like, holy shit. You know what would be so badass? If, like, this. If he was get killed by Sheriff Forbes. Like, he's trying to kill your baby. You need to get rid of him. I mean, somebody's going to obviously save Caroline. She cannot die. This early in the season. Like, if she gets killed at all, I'm gonna be pissed off. So, anyways, um, that's all I have to say. This video's gone on long enough. Again, I apologize for lack of, the uh, recap last week. Sorry for the horrible quality, and sorry for my rambling. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, like the fan pages. Peace.